When I was 17 years old, I took a scuba diving course, did my first dive, really liked it, and I went into recruiting and said I wanted to be a diving officer in the Navy. I am uh, Lieutenant Commander Roland Leet. I've been a clearance diver now for 14 years. Before that, I was a ship steam diver for two years. In June, I'll be coming uh, to the fleet diving unit as the commanding officer. Okay, boys. Today we're getting ready to do a whole search on the building, Quebec. Done. The 8th of February, 1991, we, uh, we pull into Funchal, Madeira. As soon as we pulled alongside, we were asked by the CO and XO to do a hull search of our ship and uh, the USS Ferris, which was next to us. We had done the USS Ferris in previous ports, so it wasn't going to be an issue. Unless you could look into the future, we couldn't see what was going to happen to us. We did the Marguerite first, went to the inboard side, swept that whole side all the way down to the front. At that point, we still had lots of air left, so we just started to do the Ferris. There's a lot of noise because all the ships are all running on generators. Basically, you, know, you couldn't tell that there was any, uh, any extra machinery on. But two thirds of the way up, Master Seaman Hines gets sucked up against the hull of the ship. We didn't really know why he was being pulled up against the hull of the ship. I saw Corey Wells swimming down to lend assistance. So we both swam in, and as I'm getting about two, three feet from Master Seaman Hines, I see Sub Lieutenant Wells get sucked up against the grating also. I felt myself being pulled in, and I, I tried to swim away but couldn't. I realized it was the main circulation pump for the ship. The amount of pull was enormous. My instructor on my ship scene driver course, I remember him saying, you know, always keep your regulator in your mouth underwater. So, uh, when I felt myself being pulled in, I just grabbed my regulator. I can't see much. Uh, the line from this tied around my waist is also up into the cirque, and I took my knife out, tried to cut the line, but uh, lost grip on my knife, and it got sucked up. I could feel Master Seaman Hines beside me. Just before I went in, I could see that he had his regulator in, and his mask was still on. The fourth diver, uh, Master Seaman LePage, came down and started buddy breathing with uh, Corey Wells because Corey's regulator had been sucked out. Master Seaman LePage realized that uh, no one on the surface knew what was going on. No one knew we were stuck to the bottom of the ship or that the main suction was still on. He decided that he'd swim to the surface as fast as he could, yell help, and then swim back down. Guys from the ship saw him, brought the ship to uh, emergency stations for a diving incident. Master Seaman LePage went to Corey Wells, tried to buddy breathe with him again, but unfortunately, uh, Corey had already swallowed too much water and uh, had drowned. The standby diver, Master Seaman B-San, came to my side, basically stood on the hull and grabbed me by the arm and tried to pull me off, but uh, couldn't pull me out of the cirque. Once I realized there was no way I was getting out, just kept uh, kind of talking to myself, saying, all right, you know, control your breathing, hold your regulator in. I almost tried to skip breathing at times because I knew sooner or later my air would run out. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes passed, I really can't give you a good time frame. As soon as I felt the cirque shutting down, the two divers that were swimming around uh, grabbed the two that weren't moving and started taking them to the surface. The line that was uh, our search line was still stuck up in the cirque, so these, the four guys are head to the surface and I'm trying to swim out and can't. I pulled the about uh, 30 feet of line out of the cirque and then I felt that I was free so I started swimming up. Found out later that I had about uh, 200 PSI left in the tanks. I didn't actually know until I hit the surface that the other two had drowned. Corey Wells, a newly married, kind of a guy who loved life. He liked what he was doing, loved the Navy, loved diving. Billy Hines had two young boys at the time. Very jovial, pulled the team together. He was great for morale, just easy to get along with, friendly, good fella. You know, it's, it's one of those things, uh, there's always Murphy, you can do everything right, uh, but you know, every, everything can go very drastically wrong. Uh, at the time, we had followed our SOPs to a T. That is what we did for every dive uh, before that. And, 
worked perfectly. Standard operating procedure for all our dives is we have a safe to dive checkoff list. Basically, it's a list of all the machinery on the ship and all the senior people on the ship that need to know that we're diving underneath. For Ferris, it, we use the same checkoff list. It's just that the, their second officer today uh, wasn't conversant in dive ops because the U.S. Navy doesn't have ship steam divers. He was busy doing his duties, didn't know what he was signing, and signed off our checkoff list, basically saying that everything was shut down and that everybody had been informed. Unfortunately, none of the equipment had been shut down, and uh, we, uh, we all got uh, pulled into the main circuit as we swam past it.